Welcome back, everyone. Grimmel and Archer here. Time for some more Subnautica. So, I have been a bit of a busy beaver while you guys have been away. Um, I have done a few things. What? Do I have anything in here I can show you that I've done? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I, I have a lubricant. I did. I have the materials put together for a um, for a thermal power plant because this is one of the things I want to do today. I want to plant a thermal power plant at a nearby um, lava vent, and then run the power using these power transmitters back to the to this base, so that we don't have to worry about power so much. Um, what else have I done? Oh, I took the the like uh, jellyfish crab thing out of here and put it in a new tank that I that I built, where I also dumped most of our eggs. And so you can see all the various uh, little fishies that we have from our eggs swimming around in there. I also built this, obviously, this aquarium and stuff up here. Um, I built an extra reactor rod for our for our uh, the nuclear reactor. And the biggest differences I made were on the Cyclops, the which is over here. So let's go check it out. Oh, we got, a, got some damage. We're in the vicinity of those of those guys that release the little explodey balls, as you can see happening over there. And so they seem to be damaging both the Cyclops and the base a little bit. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, in here, I built a locker, which actually doesn't have anything in it at the moment. Uh, did I do anything back here? I think I did anything back here. I somehow discovered and somehow missed that there is a this, like... Cyclops upgrade fabricator here. So I built the first of the whole modules. Um, I have also built some pots because one of the things I want to do today is go visit the um, the floating island and collect some samples to plant here for food. I have built a decoy. So you can see there's one of one in the decoy launcher. I've also placed um, a couple of upgrades which are right now are just these power efficiency modules. And then what else do we do? Up front I built a fabricator for this ship so we don't have to go so far. We have another locker here, which is where I have the other things that I'm worried about. That's not a module. That I'm worried about getting destroyed when we, you know, unload the unload and reload the game. So, okay, so that's enough of that. First order of business is to try and build this um, thermal power generator thing that I was looking for. So let's see, where is it? Not the jelly cave entrance. Not beacon to thermal vent. All right, so it, oh, there it is, right in front of my damn face. So we're gonna cruise over here. And so I understand that the trick with placing these things is they have to be placed in hot water, which is, you know, a no duh kind of thing. But you also, in the case of this kind of thing, you have to place them Somewhere where they're not going to get hurt by the exploding little lava vent thing that happens periodically. So, hopefully we can work this out. I think I know what I need to do, but we'll see. So here's the thermal vent. So that's what we're trying to avoid right there. But I think if we build it like in one of the on that shelf right there, I think we'll be okay. So let's like get back here. Build the thermal vent. I think we're about to find out if this is okay or not. Alright, thermal vent. Come on, thermal vent. Where are you? Oh I saw it for a second. Where'd you go? Come on, he went green for a second. There you go. Nope, oh, right there. Now hopefully it doesn't get hurt here. Because if it gets destroyed, obviously this whole process is kind of pointless. But now we're going to get out of here. We're going to build a power transmitter. I don't know how you tell if they're how close you have to be. Let's just put it here. Are you connected? I can't tell. 
I'm gonna risk this. I wanna go down and see if this thing's getting hurt. No, nope, doesn't seem to be getting hurt, so that's good. So I don't know with these power transmitters if they need to be um, within, if it's like a sightline thing. Because if it is, obviously that's not going to work. So let's actually deconstruct this one. Because I don't know how much materials I'm carrying here. Let's put it right here if we can. So I don't know if that's working, but um, we're gonna head back towards base. What's going on here? Oh, didn't quite finish. Okay. Hmm. So let's get this. We'll we'll move the we'll have the we'll bring the power from over there to here instead, and see if it how it works how it works out for us. I know that when they're functioning, they're connected by, like, um, some blue power lines. I was looking at them online. Alright, so let's put the first one right here. Don't know if you're connected or not. I really don't want to spend a whole bunch of time laying these things out when they're not uh, actually connecting to anything. Well, we'll give it a shot. I think they're good for like 100 meters or something. So let's put it like right here. Do I have enough for another one? No, I need more gold. All right, looks like we got another message is coming while we were out. This is life pod two coordinates attached. We're past our safe death and bleeding O2. Left to swim to the surface, but it's half a kilometer straight up. Keep you posted. You out. New signal, huh? Interesting. Life pod two reported sinking 500 meters before abandoning the pod. Hmm. Okay, so now the question becomes, did that work? Probably should have built another, uh, built another one of these things, like, right here. Oh, let's get out of here. I'm getting hurt. Alright, so it's at least going that far. Because it's beaming there. Are you beaming on to the next one? Yes. Oh, yes. It looks like it works. Let's make sure it makes it all the way back to base. Look so at it go. Look at us using renewable energy. Also provides a nice lo straight line back to the base. Yep, and then points straight into the base. Nice. Cool. So it should be keeping us topped up with power now. So let's actually um, turn off some of these beacons here. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. All right. Good to go. Nice. All right. Let's drink some water. Let's process some metal salvage here. Those should probably get one of our med kits too, huh? We got one of those. We got a couple of those somewhere. And about, yep, there we go. Boom. 
Alright, should probably eat some food, which means we need to go to our fish tank. Gary fish. Gary fish. Uh, I added a couple more types of fish to this room, to this place too. Alright, that'll do. Nom nom nom. Three fish may actually be too much. It's okay though. Yeah, good enough. All right, let's go get the prawn and go put it in the cyclops, and then we're gonna go to the floating island and try and um, get some of the plant, the edible plant species, off of the island to add to our little pots. That's the plan. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Thank you, ship. Alright. We're heading to Beacon 2. I'm gonna go ahead flank. Ahead flank. Okay, we should probably go around these. <laughs> There's our power. Good old power system. Whoops. Definitely just hit a rock. Alright. Well, that wasn't so great. <laughs> So before we do anything else, let's go fix this hull damage. So I don't get more when I run up against something else in the future, as I am likely to do. Alright, can I get, even get up there? Yeah, I might not be able to get up there. That's okay. There should be a big scrape right along the bottom somewhere. No? Alright, well apparently we're not going to be able to fix the damage because it appears to be all on the upper level. I can't get there right now because I didn't put it up high enough. Alright, I'm going to swim under and come up on the other side. I came I came to this side of the thing because um, I want to get from the place where we get the food to the ship as fast as possible. And I'm pretty sure that one of the places to get the food is on that side of the island, if memory serves. Here we are, back on the island. So I'm trying to go to that side. Because I know there's like potatoes, Chinese potatoes or something like that, and some other stuff. Yes, this is where I, this is where I wanted to be. Just put that away. Alright, you guys. Not that. Who else is here? I don't want to get attacked while I'm working.
All right, so let's get our knife out. I believe that we need to get marble melon seeds. Yep, there we go. And potato seeds. Looks like this, you just take the potatoes. Inventory full. All right, let's drink this, let's drink this. All right, so let's go. See, I wanted to do this. I don't know if things are going to go. I, I feel like in a, a game that I played a long time ago, I found stuff on this island and it went bad really fast. So I want to get it in the ground before it goes rotten on me. I know, I know. Alright, so we're here. Put a Chinese potato plant. Put some marble melon seeds. Apparently we can fit four of them in here, but I'm just going to put them there. You can see what's up. We'll put them there. Like so, and now we have some little little plant seeds to grow. And I guess we'll go back up, because I feel like there was something else. There might be... I think there's like one more. Let's get down a little bit so that we can actually... Get, I think there's like one more type of plant. Maybe on one of the ones that's high up in the, in the air. Says there's damage on this the back side of the ship, but I can't find it anywhere. This thing is finicky sometimes. Alright, come on. There you go. Oh man, there you go. All right, let's go back around again. All right, is there any other kind of plant here that's edible? Fern palm, fern palm, grub basket, foxel shrub, Jaffa cup, Lantern fruit. Alright, so this is... I'll take two of those and we're going to book it. Because I'm worried they're going to go bad on me. I can't make the water from this distance, can I? Let's see if I can just drop down here without hurting ourselves. Good. Just put it away, man. Splash. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. All right. Boom. Lantern tree. Nice. Eat that. Now we have some sustainable food that we can carry with us so we don't have to go looking for it like we have in the past. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I'm going to stop here for today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.